denial at the weigh-in. I don't know why, I just don't think that's my body fat. Hey guys, how are you doing? Um, it's been a little while since I've done a vlog update on my fat loss, body recomposition, get fit again, whatever you want to call it, journey. So I'm looking a bit of a hot mess right now. <laughs> I thought I would update you guys. Today is Tuesday the 22nd of September. So yeah, when I started this, it was June. So it's been a good four months almost. Um, and I feel good. I feel good. Let me just update you because there's been a lot of changes. So I've moved. I'm now living in a house that I love with a garden with housemates that I really get on with. My work shift pattern has gone back to normal. So lockdown has eased a bit. So I've been able to meet groups of friends. At the moment, we can meet in groups of six outdoors. Um, but I have a feeling that's about to change. Hashtag lockdown too. Um, being able to go out for dinner, do things like that, go to the cinema. Gyms have reopened as well, although I haven't actually gone back to the gym. Um, I've just been doing home workouts, which I love. So I did eight weeks, 40 days of Monday to Friday, 5.30 a.m. live Instagram workouts. So if you literally want to see exactly what exercise I've been doing, just go on my Instagram, on my IGTV, and all my workouts are there. Um, so I did that for 40 days and then have carried on pretty much since, but doing them later in the day. I I feel really good. I feel just happier, like my mood is better. Um, endorphins really are a thing, you guys, like just just feeling that extra bit of energy. Um, I feel more like myself. I know I'm stronger because I know that by week eight of the um, Dr. Sarah challenge on Instagram, I was able to do so many more press-ups than on week one where I was doing the knee press-ups and just really struggling. So I've definitely gotten stronger. In terms of my looks, I think I do look a bit fitter. I think my arms look a little more lean and my face probably looks a little less. I don't know. I don't even know if I will have lost any weight. Um, but I, I feel stronger and I feel good. So I'm really glad about that. In terms of food, I have been eating a little bit better. But when I say eating better, I mean just not ordering in for every meal. So I've still been eating like significant amounts of junk food and snacks and drinking wine and, and all that jazz. But one of the main reasons why I wanted to update you today is because I've just um, got a food package from Muscle Food. Today will be my first day eating just their food. thought that it would be good to see where I'm at and see if any of my measurements have changed, um, which honestly, I'm not that fussed about. Like, I do want them to have changed because I feel so much different. I would be confused if they hadn't or changed at all. Um, but I already feel better, so I guess, and I know that I'm living healthier by exercising regularly, so this is more just arbitrary to, to update you guys. But I guess after that, yeah, I will then do four weeks with a more controlled diet. I'm following a new workout plan, which I will let you guys know about in due time. Very excited about this. Um, I'm following a new workout plan. I've, again, written myself. Um, it's a home workout plan. And yeah, it'll be really good. So let me just show you. Let's have a look at me, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so this is me now. Sorry that I couldn't find the same black shorts I wore last time. I don't know where they are. They might be in the wash. In fact, this is me letting it, I say letting it all hang out. <laughs> this is me letting it all hang out. Bear in mind, this is the first thing in the morning I haven't eaten because um, I figure that's the best way to be consistent about things. But yeah, I definitely feel there's more visual definition on my abs. Still not, you know, as much as I've had in the past, but definitely still more than I had a few months ago. Um, my legs, to me, they don't look very different. I feel like my quads are usually the last place to show any definition. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, so let's get the measurements out of the way shall we? <laughs> so hard, I can't... <laughs> I never know where to grab. Body fat. Calculator. Still in button. I defined my waist as being last time. Where say that's my waist, yeah. Oh, the app has already linked. 
That's crazy, it's already linked to the scale. Telling me that my BMI is 25.6, which is still over. So still technically overweight, but generally that's been my life story. Like, I'm a very dense human. When you have a lot of muscle, like, that's quite common. It's saying my body fat is 21.6. I mean, okay, obviously I do believe that, but I low-key almost don't believe that. I just feel like my body fat is lower. I feel like I shouldn't argue with the machine. 21's not bad, by the way. That's like totally fine. So the overall stats are that I've lost three kilograms, 0.8% body fat, an inch off the waist, which is, but even when you start off with a goal, all the other benefits I think that you see along the way, like I just feel stronger. I want to get so much stronger. I want to be, on point with my fitness. I want to be really strong again. Um, I want to get back to the gym and lift some weights and see how strong I am at the moment. To, you know, get like some kind of baseline and goals going again. Um, so yeah, I think even though you can have like the tracking stuff and the goals like this, like there's nothing compared to knowing that you are living a happy lifestyle and feeling those endorphins and feeling energy and like feeling more comfortable in your own skin. Um, so yeah. That's the update for today. Um, I'm gonna wake up, make a coffee. I've actually got the day off work today, so maybe I could vlog you through my first day of eating muscle food and what it's like. Um, but I'm gonna start off by making a coffee. Next time on this channel, I show you how I sorted out my healthy diet. Oh wow, this is gonna be great. <laughs>